Hi, I'm Hannah, an implementation consultant in Bright's professional services team. When setting up your digital asset management system, permissions are an important consideration. With flexible user permissions, Asset Bank allows you to safely store your assets with confidence. To edit user group permissions, click on the Groups tab under the Admin menu. Here you will see your different user groups. The public group and logged in users are default groups in the system that you can use to set your baseline permissions. You can edit the public permissions to open up a part of your asset bank to be viewable before a user logs in. This can be useful if you have something like event photos or product images that you want to be publicly available. The logged in users group forms the baseline of all of your user permissions in the system. Everyone with a user account will be a member of this group. A user will always inherit the most generous permission that their user account has. So, if you don't want the marketing team to see a folder, you have to make sure that the public and logged in user groups can't see it either. You can be a member of multiple groups. For example, everyone who goes to your asset bank's URL is in the public group and everyone who logs in is in the logged in users group. If you also add someone to your own group, like the marketing team shown here, they'll get those permissions too. You can test exactly what a user can see by finding their account under the Users tab. Click More and then log in as this user. Asset Bank will then mirror their user experience to you, so you can always check that the right people can see the right content. By creating multiple groups to reflect the different permissions you would like your users to have, you can create a secure and streamlined digital asset management system.